All right, everybody, let's talk about Blue Sky Studios. It was announced just the other day that Disney is shutting down Blue Sky Studios. I'm going to read you a little clip over here from Deadline, and then we're going to talk about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick. And all right, so here we go. So it says here, this is from Deadline, Disney closing Blue Sky Studios, Fox's once dominant animation house behind Ice Age franchise. Okay, so it says here, Disney is shutting, uh, shuttering Blue Sky Studios, the $5.9 billion global grossing former 20th Century Fox animation division that during its run churned out 13 feature films, including the Ice Age franchise. Okay, so... Okay, I got to be honest with you guys. Th there wasn't a whole lot of content that Blue Sky released that I was a big fan of. I was actually not too into Ice Age that much at all. Um, was not a fan. I liked Rio, though, quite a bit. And I never saw the Peanuts movie, which I got to actually get around to seeing that because I heard the Peanuts movie is absolutely fantastic. But this news, I mean, this is really not surprising. Okay, I mean, let, let's be completely honest. This is not surprising news. And I'm actually, the only thing that's really kind of <laughs> kind of throwing me off a little bit here is that it wasn't announced sooner, okay? Um, with every acquisition or merger, there's always going to be overlap and redundancy, okay? You don't need like three or four VP of operations or what have you. I mean, th there, there's there's definitely redundancy that, 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 takes place when these mergers happen and this is no different and especially when you're having two studios merge there's going to be a lot of redundancy and when when they first announced that disney was going to be acquiring fox i thought there's no way they're going to keep blue sky i mean disney already has disney animation and they have pixar and they have industrial light and magic and lucasfilm animation there was really no need to have another animation studio so I'm just surprised it took them this long to announce it, to be very, very honest with you. Now, my heart goes out to every one of the employees that lost their job. I really do hope that Disney can find, you know, places for these employees within the company, whether it be, like I said, Lucasfilm Animation, Disney, Pixar, ILM, whatever it is. I hope they can find spots for all these workers, all these artists and creatives, because th that's the biggest blow in, in regards to this news is, is all those great, talented people losing their jobs. Now, in the overall scheme of, of, of the big picture, right, in regards to this whole Fox merger, we're starting to get like a more clear picture as to what's going on here and how Disney's going to move forward with the Fox 20th century brand and you know i gotta be real with you guys like it looks like fox is sort of becoming like a, a touchstone pictures essentially you know they're gonna release minimal content and it'll basically just be the studio they use when they want to release something that's a little too edgy or a little too adult um to release on their other platforms like disney right I think that's really where the Fox or the 20th century studios branding is going to be going from here on out. Okay. It's going to be essentially, you know, a touchstone pictures, a touchstone pictures. That's exactly what this is headed, where this is headed. And um, that's sad in a lot of ways because, you know, 20th century has a storied history. Um, it, it's a, it was a, a juggernaut in Hollywood. And then to see it kind of just be relegated into this, like, side studio that's going to release content very sporadically and basically just be Disney's kind of throwaway studio whenever they want to put something out that's a little too edgy for their other studios is a little, is, is a little sad. It is, but that's where I think it's headed. I really do. You guys, I think 20th century is going to be very minimized going forward. They're really creating a lean situation and um, you're not going to see much of it. You, you really won't. But uh, yeah, again, I mean, just to kind of close out, I, I wasn't a huge fan of Blue Sky Studios, unfortunately. Um, a few things, like I said, I liked Rio. I heard Peanuts was really good. But for the most part, I wasn't a huge fan. Um, but the loss, the job losses, I think, in this situation is the uh, is the saddest part of this whole 
um, scenario. But what do you guys think about Blue Sky? What do you think about the overall picture about where Disney's headed with, you know, the the former like, you know, Fox brands and what have you? Do you agree with me? Do you, disagree, do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on this? I would love to hear from you. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye now.